good morning to you and um, your cherished listeners and viewers because we are live and, on Facebook okay, as well. and then viewers as well and mm. um, to Kukwa Papa, mm. their management in the studio mm. um I, I also came with my district coordinating director yeah so very, very handsome Nano Pukwa, baby, well. i like his very right, he, i like his car too yeah oh okay <laughs> um Dave, the, the Amasa South District Assembly was created in 2018. Um, so it is part of the newly created districts that the NPP administration led by His Excellency Nanaru Dankwa Kufadu created. And it was created out of the present day Amasa West. Because initially we were all together. And then the Amasa South was carved out of the present day Amasa West. So from 2018, um, somewhere May, May 2018, and we are in May um, 2024. So, like one, two, three, um, six years now. Um, um, we've achieved a lot. The, you, I must say that there are challenges. There are challenges in the, on the sense that uh, once it's a newly created district, you will need to start from the scratch, uh, putting up administrative structures. I mean, uh, schools. Uh, hospitals, even roads, because once it becomes a district, you equally have to compete uh, with other um, older districts. And so in 2018, when we were created, um, and every year, there's this assessment, uh, let, me, let me chip that in, there's this assessment conducted by the Institute of Local Governance Studies. So we were created in 2018. Obviously, 2018, we didn't get any good position out of the 261 MMDAs in Ghana. So 2019 became like uh, 170 something, 20, 2020, like in that order. But let me say, and hit my chest, that this year, I mean last year's assessment, because it came this year, 2023, um, the Amasya South the came fifth in the whole of Ghana, and we came first in Ashanti region. What do you think did the trick for you? Um, so this is, this is, um, an assessment conducted within the various MMDs, not the district assembly properly so called. So they enter your district without even your knowledge. So there is nothing you can influence. In fact, you don't even know when they are coming. So they just move around. They have their thematic areas. I think and they seven, have the respondents that you know, you know, exactly. answer the questions. Seven, and all that. seven yeah. thematic areas. Yeah. Yeah. They look at security. They look at infrastructure. Mm -hmm. They look at the district chief executive's relationship with the people. The district assembly's staff relationship with the communities. I mean, and a kind of uh, we call something uh, local economic development. How you've empowered the local economy because there are certain districts when you enter today. And you take out 50 Ghana cities, nobody can even get a change for you. That is a fact. It is because the local economy is underdeveloped. But if you have a district like Amasya South District, that any amount of money that you hold, you get a bank to even deposit. You can go to any bank within the district and cash out any amount. Momo transactions, whatever. It means that you are developing the local economy because the, the, we call it there's money in the system and you empower the local people to also get that money uh, i.e when when you want to embark on a project you don't look outside the district you look within if you're unable to get people within then you look outside whilst getting people within the monies from the central government stays within the district and i'm sure this and many other reasons why we came first fifth. in Ashanti region mm -hmm. and fifth, fifth in, in, in nationwide. Yeah. Now we, we have that data available, and in the coming days we'll be you know delving into them and sharing with our listeners how the various, various districts are doing, so that if they come from a particular district that the district is not doing well, they then will know that well they need to put pressure on their DCs or the MCs there. But 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 how would you describe Amasya South? Would you say it's a deprived community? Uh, Amasya South, so it's in between. It cannot be part of the deprived districts and it cannot be part of the well-to-do districts so we find ourselves on the fence mm. like we are in between the deprived and the well-to-do districts mm. uh, you may say in local governance parlance you may see Perry Airman but we are not there yet okay because I mean a district that was created in 2018 you still have a lot to do however the any other social amenities that makes living very comfortable within any district mm. 
I must say. So let's say, say let's today. talk about health here. Yeah. When it comes to health facilities, how how well would you say um, 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 Amanda South is doing in terms of uh, medical, let's say health workers in terms of equipment, the structure itself? How mm -hmm. where would you place you know healthcare delivery in Amanda South? Yeah, so our trump card, eh, our strength is on the staff, the, the kind of staff available within the district. I must say that I'm lucky to have the best staff, very cooperative, I mean, ready to go the extra mile. There's that uh, chief executive staff relationship. When you come, it's difficult to identify who is the chief executive. Like we work together at SIEF, our lives depend on it. And yes, in, indeed, our lives depend on that. On HEF, fortunately and unfortunately, so let me start with the fortunately first. We have a referral hospital within the district, which is the St. Martin's uh, Roman Catholic Hospital. Uh, we say Agurisum, Agurisum. Mm -hmm. It's because it's located at mm -hmm. Agurisum. And this is a referral hospital. So mm -hmm. to get a referral hospital within your district, it means that you are there in terms of health. However, there are certain communities that are very far from the hospital. So for them to get access to healthcare becomes a bit problematic, especially with um, the bad nature of roads. Mm. However, the District Assembly has put measures and steps in place to ensuring that people who live far from the health facility, I mean the, the hospital properly so-called, will also get uh, first uh, care, like first in hand yeah, first, first, first aid, aid, first aid sort okay. of, uh, by putting up chip compounds mm. within the communities. I must say, South has 86 communities in all. Uh, there are some communities that, if I want to go there, it is best I drive through a Bwakwa, through Nkawi, Tuanse, before I get to my community. It is uh, easy to assess that community through other districts than through my own district. That is for you to know the vast nature of the district. I share boundaries with the western region, the central region as well. The central region to uh, Dentra, uh, Upper Dentra, Upper Dentra, and then the western region with the BME. Mm. Well, but um, but so but are you satisfied with the health you know facility? I cannot there, be satisfied. Healthcare delivery there. I, so, so if you're not satisfied. What, what is being done to see an improvement of this? A lot. Okay. A lot. So let me, let, let me pat the governments at the back for the Agenda 111 initiative. I must say is that we are lucky to have one Agenda 111 hospital cited within that. Level of, level of work done? Um, 75%. You sure? Oh, yes. Because tomorrow we're coming there. We're coming there. We're uh, coming tomorrow. We'll so, see, so we'll see David, for ourselves. Yeah. David, you see, uh, I can't lie. In fact, I don't even know how to lie. <laughs> <laughs> see, the lady is laughing. There's yes. a lady with us, with us in the studio. Yes. They see men as liars. So when you say, oh. I can't lie, she's, she's like, hmm, 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 hmm. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. As frankly and unapologetic. So 76% complete. 75%. 75. Complete, yeah. And you hope that it will be completed before? Be before close of this year. You sure? should. Okay. Yeah, because so, when we have meetings with uh, contractors, mm. we do monthly meetings. I did on site. I contracted some yes, site working. Yes, last Friday of every month we do okay. monthly meetings. Let's talk about education and 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 you know, we're talking about infrastructure. We're talking about the right teaching and learning materials. We're talking about staff. We're talking about everything education. What what do you have to share with our listeners and viewers about Amanse South? Um, so on education, we are not doing bad, but you see, you. As a leader, the first step is to ensure that you get the right structures in place. Because you can get the best teachers within the district. But if you don't, get, if you don't have the right structures in place, i.e. Um, school buildings, I mean good school buildings, not, any, you're not just like any schools under trees or whatever. Um, if, you, if you don't have the right teaching and learning materials as well, it's as well... It's, it's much ado about nothing. You just be wasting human, human resources there. So 
we as an assembly have also taken it upon ourselves to ensure that we put up the best structures for the education sector and then also come out with innovative ideas to raise the hopes and raise the uh, the beliefs of our students and the teachers as well. So you have very good structures in terms of uh, you know schools there. I'm asking so this far, question again. So far, so good. Listen, when we went to um, uh, Jakubu and its enclave last year, there are some classrooms when you enter. It's worse than the Galamse site. I mean, portals in the classrooms, dust, you know, dusty nature of the classroom itself. Not too much desks available, the roofing bad, no windows. We're in the rainy season right now. I'm sure that if it rains, then school will be off for that day and all that. In Amansa South, are, are there such structures, you know, structures there? Um, I wouldn't say there are none. Yes, I mean, this is a rural district. Mm. However, we are... I mean, we've taken steps to ensure that we take all those out. So when you come like this, we are going to show you evidence to that effect. Mm. Um, there's this uh, unannounced visit my staff and I do almost any time we feel like doing. And we visit the schools. Um, when we pick Intel, we visit the school. When we realize that your structure is so weak, uh, you need a replacement. We put that for you. Is it such that you're a man? Is it such that if you have a child, you want your child to school in that community? Obviously, once I work there. You'd want your child to, to school in a school in Amansi South District? Yes, because of the structures we've put in place. And the teaching and learning materials plus Come. the kind of teachers you have? The, the, the teachers are superb. Uh, it you, have, you have a child already? Forgive me for, for being personal. You have a child? Uh, you said personal. So. No, you have a child? <laughs> personal. You have a child? You said personal. Is your child attending the school there? It's personal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a chief executive of the district. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so. I know. I know. Now, I asked about education and I asked about health because I don't know how the information got to you that we have decided.